All right, so I get a phone call after posting this watch, and this guy goes, well, why is it so expensive? I said, well, you know, it's a 6263, it's full set, and, and he, like, interrupts me, but he's like, oh, but it's too expensive. I like this watch, but it's way too expensive. And I said, well, yeah, yeah, okay, it's full set, da, 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 da. and he's like, it's just too expensive. And I'm like, it's a Sigma dial. And he goes, oh, okay, well, that makes sense. So what I have on my wrist is a 1976 Rolex Daytona reference 6263. It's a big red, but the devil exists in the details with anything vintage watches. This specific big red Daytona is actually a Sigma dial. So why is this Daytona so much more expensive? Why is it so much more elite than any other big red out there? And that is because this specific variant possesses what we would call Sigmas on the dial. If you look closely at the six o'clock position of most dials made in Switzerland in the 1960s into the 1970s, what you'll see is Swiss or Swiss made or T Swiss T, or you'll see T Swiss made T or whatever. You're, you're gonna see a signature at the bottom of the six o'clock dial. And that was basically so that the producer of that watch knew that uh, as it entered the world, it was a product of Switzerland, right? It was a Swiss watch, it was made in Switzerland. But in 1973, 1974, we had actually a gold crisis. The price of gold in, in that era and time was skyrocketing. And the Swiss watchmaking associations wanted to basically highlight the fact that the Swiss watchmaking industry was so prestigious that if they used gold in a watch or in any of its components, that they would highlight that by using this Sigma symbol. And the Sigma symbol basically is the Greek symbol for gold. So what that means is that these dials specifically or the components of the watch actually use or leverage gold in them. And it was a way for the Swiss watchmaking community to, to note that they were using gold in their products. And in this case, gold on the dial. So the, the markers of this watch and the hands of this specific 6263 are actually made out of solid 18 karat white gold. Why that makes this so special is because there are very few big red Daytonas in both the 6263 and in the 6265 range that actually will bear Sigma dials and the big red text. Now, what is big red? Big red basically means that at the uh, above the six o'clock, you know, sub dial, you have this big red Daytona script. And that is a key feature and a highlight feature for the 6263 and the 6265 range. So those two things together make this watch incredibly rare and incredibly special. Most big red Daytonas do not bear Sigmas and most Daytonas are also uh, in the Sigma range are not big reds. Okay, so that's why this is expensive, that's why it's ultimately rare, and that's why this specific 6263 Daytona is so insanely collectible. Thanks guys for tuning in. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you go to the Craft & Taylor website and you see something that interests you and you guys want us to review it on the channel, drop us a note below. Uh, we'll talk about it, we'll review it. We're here and happy to help and happy to answer all your questions. So uh, drop us a line at info at craftandtaylor.com if you're interested. And uh, thanks as always guys for tuning in. We will see you in the next one.